Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge version 136 is now available. And this latest release rolled out on the 1st of May, late yesterday in my part of the world. And this month, Microsoft once again is late in updating the release notes for this for latest version upgrade. So I'm going to do a part one and a part two of what's new in Microsoft Edge. The first part will be what I've observed and what I know is changing. And then if anything major changes when the release notes become available, then I'll post a part two, getting us all up to speed and on the same page. But nonetheless, to double check, we have this latest release. We head up to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And latest version in bold is sitting on 136.0. 0.3240.50. Now, what I do know has rolled out is the security fixes for this week. That'll be included in that um, update for the Chromium open source project, which the browser is based on. And that includes eight security fixes. And there's one high severity flaw that's been patched, listed as heat buffer overflow in HTML, and the rest are mediums and lows. No mention of any zero days exploited in the wild or critical vulnerabilities, which is always good news. So eight security fixes have rolled out in total for the Chromium open source project for Edge 136. Now with this latest version upgrade, Microsoft now has removed the ability to move your profile picture and that menu to the top left to the title bar or the tab strip which was an option that rolled out as part of Edge Project Phoenix a year or so ago. And you could either pop it up here to the left where I actually preferred it or put it in its original location to the right. But that setting now to move that has been removed in version 136. So if you go into settings and you're trying to find that, it's no longer available. And then while we are talking about settings, Something I posted on a couple of days ago is that Edge Stable now has and is starting to get a major settings upgrade with WebUI 2 with a more compact design, new appearance options and so on. I think a lot more users with 136 are going to start seeing more of this settings makeover and upgrade and rolling out with version 136. I'll leave that video we are focused on the settings with the makeover. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. So I actually prefer this to the old layout. I think this is a lot more responsive. I think it's a lot more compact and user friendly. I actually think this is a very nice move in the right direction. And this is also Microsoft's attempt to update UI elements and some functionality in the browser to form, fall more in line with Google Chrome. We can see this is looking here to the left, very similar to what the layout is in Google Chrome. So I'm sure a lot more of you guys are going to start seeing this new WebUI 2 makeover and upgrade rolling out for the settings. So guys, that's just my observations. As mentioned, Microsoft is now in the habit of not pushing out the change log and the release notes with version upgrades as soon as they roll out. And as mentioned, this is part one. If anything major has changed, I'll post a part two um, as soon as those release notes become available, as mentioned. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.